Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the probability of the union of two events. So we have the union, so let's say we have A union B, or a, a probability of A or B. Our first rule, P a probability of A or B is equal to probability of A union B. And that is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. Where probability of A intersection B denotes that the probability that both A and B occur at the same time. So, they are not mutually exclusive in our rule number one because A and B occur at the same time. Let's have our first example. A weather forecast reported that the probability that it will rain tomorrow is 0 0.60. The probability of lightning is 0 0.40. And the probability that both can happen is 0 0.20. What is the probability that an outdoor event will be canceled tomorrow due to rain or lightning? So first step, analyze if our problem is mutually exclusive or not mutually exclusive. So rain and lightning. So possible that if it's rain then there will be a lightning so that is not mutually exclusive so we're going to use our rule number one now we have our events rain and lightning so the prob probability of rain union lightning Rain, union, lightning, lightning, is equal to probability of that it will, probability that it will rain is 0 0.60. I think I don't have enough space here. So, I'm going to write my solution here. So, probability that rain union lightning. That is equal to probability of rain plus the probability for lightning minus probability of rain intersection lightning now let us substitute so probability that it will rain tomorrow is 0 0.60 plus the probability for lightning is 0 0.40 minus the probability of their intersection that both can happen is 0 0.20. Now we have 0 0.60 plus 0 0.40, that is 1, exactly 1, minus 0 0.20. So 1 minus 0 0.20 is 0 0.80. In percent form, multiply to 100, so that is 80, then write the percent form. So the probability that an outdoor event will be cancelled tomorrow will be 80%. Now let's have our example number two. A quality control officer check a sample of 300 AAA or AAA batteries of which 9 are defective and 200 AA or AA batteries of which 
10 are defective. If one battery is randomly selected from the sample, what is the probability that it is an AA battery or is defective? So first, let us write all our given. So a total of, so we have AAA batteries, we have 300 pieces, and double A, the AA, we have 250. So that is 550 batteries all in all, that's the total. Now, getting the number of defective, so defective batteries, or defective, for the AAA, we have AAA, 9 defective. And for the AA, we have 10. So our number of defective batteries are 19. Now following our rule number one, first we need to get the probability of AA battery or the number of the probability of defective batteries. So we have probability of AA union defective applying our rule we have the probability of AA so AA is we have a total of 250 so that is uh, let us write first AA okay plus the probability of, let's say, D for defective, minus probability of AA intersection defective. Now, for the AA, we have total is 250 over our total is 550. That is the probability of AA. Plus, the probability of the defective is our total is 19 over 550. So our total minus the intersection of AA and defective. So how many defective we have in AA? So we have 10. So 10 over 550. Now, similar fraction. So we can just subtract 19 minus 10. So we have 250 all over 550 plus 19 minus 10. So that is 9 over 550. So 250 plus 9, that is 259 over 550. And that is approximately, approximately 0 0.47. Or in percentage form, that is 47%. So the probability that it is an AA battery or defective is 47%. So that is the application of the probability of union of two union events. Let's have our second rule. Now let's have our rule number two. Probability of the union of two mutually exclusive events. So we have two events that are mutually exclusive. That means there is no intersection in both events. So we have the probability of A or B or probability of A union B 
that is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. To further understand, let's have this problem. Given a standard deck of cards, a standard deck of cards is composed of 52 cards. We have 12 cards for A's, for the aces, 12 cards for 2, I'm sorry, 4 cards for the ace, for the our aces, 4 cards for 2, 4 cards for 3, so that is 4 times 13, because we have aces, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then jack, king, and queen. A total of 52 cards. What is the probability of selecting a spade or a club? So, let's now answer letter A. Probability of selecting a spade. So, how many spades do we have? So, that is 13. 13 spades over 52, okay? Let us apply our formula. P, we have spade or club. So we have probability of spade plus the probability of the club. The probability of spade is, so we have 13 spades over 52. Plus, the probability of club is 13 over 52. Now, 13 plus 13, that is 26 over 52. Can we reduce in lowest term? Yes, both are divisible by 26, so that is 1 half. The probability is 1 half, or in percentage form, that is 50%. Okay, next, letter B. What is the probability of selecting an ace, a two, or a king if three cards are drawn at random? So, we're going to choose three cards. It must be an ace, a two, or a king. So, we have four aces in a 52 of deck of cards, so four, okay, let's apply our rule number two, so that is probability of ace, union, two, union, king, so that is equal to the probability of A, plus the probability of the 2, plus the probability of the king. Now we have 4 aces, so 4 over 52, plus 4, 2, 4 over 52, plus number of king, we have 4 over 52. Similar fraction, we have the same denominator, so we can add 4 plus 4 plus 4, that is 12. Both are divisible by 12. Um, no? Divisible by 4. Both are divisible by 4. So 4, 8, 12. So 3 over... 3 over... So, 52 divided by 4, so 1, 4, 12, so 12 divided by 4, 13. So, we have 3 over 13. So, our probability is 3 over 13. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. And our next lesson will be the intersection of two events.